Hello viewers, Mr. Nyati, your presenter here. I'm back again with another video which is basically a continuation of the 2023 science paper 1, GCE past paper. And we're going straight to section B and deal with question B, uh, B8. Because the previous videos have been looking at uh, the, the descending numbers, which is B7, B6, B5, B4, B3, B3 B2, B1. Uh, may I suggest that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, also share the video, and leave a comment in the comment section. So we're going straight to question B8. B8, well, reads to say the figure, figure 8.1 shows an electric circuit with a 5 ohm resistor are connected to a 12 volts battery or supply. This is a simple circuit. We have a 12 volt supply. We have a switch here which is closed. We have the voltage connected to the resistor in parallel. Please note that. And we have an, uh, uh, this is not a voltage so to speak, but a voltmeter which measures voltage. So a voltmeter connected in parallel to the resistor and we have an ammeter which measures current connected in series so you must take note of that the first question says state ohm's law well what does ohm's law state well ohm's law states that the voltage applied across the conductor is basically directly proportional to the current provided temperature remains the same. That's what Ohm's law states. Ohm's law, this is question B, 8, A. Uh, we are saying that Ohm's law states, so this is what Ohm's law states. The voltage applied across a conductor is directly proportional to current provided the temperature remains the same or constant. We move forward to the next question. Calculate the reading of the instrument labeled A and V. Well, A is current, an ammeter showing the reading of current and also voltmeter showing the reading of voltage. Well, I can conclude to say voltage is 12, but we see how we, got, we get that 12. I think the calculation will be basically on current. Why? Because there is one mark allocation, one mark allocation. So let's, let's basically move forward, uh, A and V. So let's start with A. Where when we go to, uh, to the question, uh, B1, we can obtain some data there. The data says we have voltage of 12 volts, what else do we have? Resistance of uh, 5 ohms, current of we don't know. So if we use the formula, there is a formula which says V is equal to IR from Ohm's law. But if we are to make I the subject of the formula, we, have to di we are to divide by R on both sides and we are going to have I is equal to, uh, I is equal to V over R. Let me just rewrite that. I is equal to V over R. So what is our V? Our V is 12 volts over R, which is 5 ohms. And when we divide that, 5 into 12, which is 2, remainder 2, 5 into 20, that is 4. This is 4 uh, amps, 2.4 amps. Okay, we move forward. We need also to calculate for for V, okay, <clears throat> we need to calculate for V, <clears throat> excuse me, we need to calculate for V, well, we use the same formula, V is equal to IR, what is our I, our I is 2.4 amps multiplied by 5 ohms, this one will result to 12 volts, and it affirms and confirms the fact that the supply was 12 volts. Move on to the next question. The next question says, what is the cost of using resist uh, R for six hours a day for 30 days if power costs 15, uh, 15 mwe per kilowatt hour? Wow. This question requires a lot of solving, some solving at least. So at least uh, there's three marks allocated to this, three marks allocated to this. So we need to do some solving here. 
What you need to know is that first of all, you need to come up with the data. This is question B2. We need to come up with the data. In this data, we need to have time, we need to have uh, power, we need to also have energy. We need to have voltage, we need to have current and everything else, and we need to have resistance. What's the time? Well, we are told in the question that it works for six hours a day for 30 days. So to, today, six hours, tomorrow, six hours, the other day, until 30 days uh, are elapsed. So we need to make sure that we multiply six multiplied by 30 for us to find the total time. So we are going to say six hours multiplied by 80 days, which is going to give us 180 hours, okay? What about power? We don't know. What about energy? We don't know. What about voltage? Well, voltage, we know that it's 12 volts current. Current is 2.4 amps and resistance is uh, 5 ohms. Now, what you need to know is this, that power is equal to energy over time, okay? But we know that energy is equal to VIT. So where there is E, we replace by VIT. So we're going to say power is equal to VIT. T over T. This one cancels, and then we're going to remain with power is equal to VI. Okay? This is the formula for power. So from here, can we be able to find the power by using B and I? Well, yes. We can find power. And the power would be power is equal to VI what is our V? Our V is 12 multiplied by I, which is 2.4. So what is the answer? When we multiply 12 by 2.4, the answer is 28.8 watts. This is the power. Then the other thing that you need to know, when calculating cost of electricity, from this formula, we can come up with a formula for energy. We make E the subject of the formula. Energy will be equal to power multiplied by time. Now, the energy is usually in joules, okay? The power in watts, and the time in what seconds. This is one way of calculating energy. Another way of calculating energy, which is using the same formula, the energy, first of all, the power should be in kilowatts. The time should be in hours. And then the energy is going to be in kilowatt hour. And between the two, there is one that you can use to calculate the cost of electricity. Or the one which you are going to use as a preliminary calculation before you determine the cost of electricity. And this happens to be the one. Where the power should be in kilowatt hour. I mean in kilowatt, the time must be in hours and then the energy must be in kilowatt hour. Why? Because one unit of electricity is equal to one kilowatt hour. In fact, whenever you say to ashtama units are 200, mushtire 200 kilowatt hour. Uh, that's what it simply means. This is physics. This is the good part of physics. Now, what we have basically done is to calculate power. We need now to make sure that we do the rest of the calculation. So for, uh, for us to move on into calculating energy in kilowatt hour, we need to make sure that power is in kilowatt. I mean, yeah, is in kilowatt. But our power is in what? In watts. So what do we do? We convert this 
to kilowatt, we divide this by 1,000 because kilo simply means 1,000. So this is what we are going to do. We're going to say 28.8 .8 divided by 1,000. And what is 28.8 .8 divided by 1,000? This gives us 0 0.0288 kilowatt, kilowatt hour. This is our power. So in this case, we already have power. So we now go back to the uh, uh, formula which says energy is equal to power times time. Our power must be in kilowatt. We have it in kilowatt 0 0.0288. Multiply by time in hours. Remember when we were coming up with the data, our time was 180 hours. We multiply this by 180 hours. What do we get? Well, when we do our math properly, okay, when we do our math properly, we are going to say 0 0.0288 multiplied by 180 hours. This gives us 5.184. 5.184. Andy, now someone will say, round it off. No, because it is terminating. There are only three. You can leave it the way it is. So we have 5.184 kilo watt hour. This is the energy. We haven't yet found the answer. We haven't yet found the answer. We now say, because the answer, the question here says, one kilowatt hour is equal to 15 ingwe. Okay? And this 15 ingwe is basically 0 0.15 kwacha. Okay? So, how do you do the math then? You are going to say 1 kilowatt hour being equal to 0 0.15 kwacha. What about 5.184 kilowatt hour? What will it equate to? So let's try to make it x. Make the answer to be x. So we're going to cross multiply. x is going to be 5.184 multiplied by 0 0.15. What's the answer? So here, since we had the answer, we'll just say multiply by 0 0.15, which is 15 in way. And the answer is going to be 0 0.77766. This one, you can round it because we're looking at money here. So we look at the way it was uh, quoted. It was 15 in way in the question. So 15 in way is equal to uh, 0 0.15 kwacha to two decimal places. Let's respect this. So we are going to respect this. Uh, leave this to two decimal places, which is 0 0.78 kwacha. So x is equal to uh, 0 0.78 kwacha. So what does this mean? This simply means that the cost of electricity of using resistor R for six hours per day for 30 days, knowing also that the cost of electricity is 15 in way per kilo hour, kilowatt hour, then we are going to say the, the, the cost of using that is going to be 78 kwacha, uh, 78 in way, or 0 0.78 kwacha. And this, you can still leave it the way it is. If you want kilowatt hour is equal to 15 in way, and then you what about 5.184 kilowatt hour is going to be X, then you cross multiply, we're going to say 5.184 multiplied by 15. This one gives you 77. So X can be 77.76. And so these angles, you just round it off and it gives you X is equal to 78. Which is the same as this one. No difference, basically. This, you are marked. This, you are marked. But you show you're working. So how do you then get your... Uh, your your, your what is this? Your three marks.
Well, uh, <laughs> this is how you are going to get your three marks. You are basically going to get your three marks in the first place by ensuring that you have your power. Okay. The other way you are going to get another mark is uh, by getting uh, this and finally getting the answer this or this. Then you found the final answer. And uh, is there any question? Six marks total. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.